Hello, this is the first video about making iBooks using CBB. CBB is the Creative Book Builder and that's an app in your iPad and with it you can create books. So we're going to look at how to make a book and we're going to take it step by step. So the first thing we're going to look at now is just how to make a new book. Okay. Now let's say your teacher gives you a task. Maybe it looks something like this. You want to make a book. So the teacher is asking you to make a book and there are some informa there's some information here. Make chapters, use headings and put it in Dropbox. Okay. So we're going to look at all these things later because the first thing you need to do is to make a new book using CBB. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's open CBB. The app looks like this. So you open it. When you open CBB, you can find out what books you have already by clicking on the top left corner on the icon there. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've got lots of books already, but maybe you have no books at all. It doesn't matter. Uh, what you do to make a new book is you look at that plus sign there and you click on it to make a new book. So let's call the book week one. Okay, so I'm giving it the title. So I'm typing the title here. Make sure your spelling is all right. Make sure you've got capitals at the beginning of each word because this is a title. And then you click save. Okay, so now I've got the book and it's in my list. I can see it there. So in order to open it, I just tap on it on my iPad. So this is my book. It's called Week One. Okay. Now this book is empty. There's nothing in it. The only thing you have is a heading called Chapter One. That's it. And we're going to look at how to make new chapters later. But first, we're going to make a cover for the book. So if you look at the bottom here, you see this little icon up looks like a cog. So if you click on this, there are certain things you can do when you create the book in the beginning. One thing you need to do is to add your name as an author. So you click on book information and there you can see it says author. There are lots of things here. Don't worry about them. I just want you to do one thing and that is to click on author and write your name. My name is Bjorn Kandel. So I'm typing Bjorn Kandel here and then I'm clicking save. Okay, I'm tapping save and I'm tapping save again. So now my name is uh, as the author of, author of this book. Okay, Let, let's tap on this uh, cog icon again and click cover image. You see it says cover image, you click cover image. Now as a standard picture for each CBB book, each book you create with the creative book builder, you get this picture, CBB. But maybe you think it's a bit boring, you want something more interesting, something you like. So you double tap on it on your iPad and you get all these choices. So let's say I want to select an image. And I have an image of my college that I want to use, for example. So I click on it and there it is. It's a picture of Fijera Man's College. And I think, ah, oh, I like it. Okay. And then I think, oh, maybe my name should be on the book as well. No problem. If you go up here, you see the plus sign there. So you click on the plus and you add text. And I'm just going to add my name again. So it's also on the front of the book. So everybody can see it. So the teacher can see it. So other students can see it if they get my book. So I click save. Oops, my name is on top of the title. Now that's no problem, I just tap on it, I touch it on the iPad and I move it down. And maybe there's not enough space, I can move the picture up a bit to make sure there's, a spa there's space for everything. Okay, so this is now my book, okay. If I want to see what it looks like, I just click preview. You see the preview button up here and I click preview and I think, oh that's pretty nice, that's a nice book. Now, it, to close the preview, I tap on it once and I go back to where I can change things for the title. Let's say I want the picture to cover the whole front of the book. No problem. I double tap it again to get all the choices. And as you can see, one of the choices here is fit to page. So if I click 
fit the page. Sorry, wrong choice. Uh, scale to fill. That means the book, the picture that I have is now covering the entire book. And I think, oh, that looks even better. I like it that way. Now, there's a little problem here because I can't see my title anymore. Why? Because it's black, it's dark. No problem, I can change it to white, for example. So I double click on the title and I click on this little thing called Edit Text. And I go to Font. And I go to Color. And I choose White. Okay, save, save, save. So now it's easy to see the title. I do the same at the bottom. I click at the, I double click on the box with my name, I click on edit text and again I click on font and I click on color and I click on white because I want white and I click save, click save and I click save. So now both the title of the book and my name is on save because I have a picture that covers the entire book. Now let's say I want to check what this actually looks like so I go back to preview the top and there it is and I think yeah that's better I really like this book it's got the title at the top it's got my name at the bottom and it's got a nice picture I like so I tap on it once and I click Save up here so that's how we start making an iBook I now got a book it's got the name week one and it's got the nice cover with a picture and a title and my name as author so that's the first step of making an iBook okay